at least we know how fast we're moving just by the, the timer. Yeah, they're jumping through the time zones like shit. Can your jet planes do that? Hell no. <laughs> I wish we could travel this fast around the world. I think they're, they're in Africa now. I, I recognize that bland texture. Yep, they're in Africa. So at this height, flying at full speed is pretty safe. Mm, so dark. You think it might be nighttime at America? Yeah. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. Or maybe I'm just flying too fucking high. <laughs> no. It says it's like midnight almost or 11, so it probably is dark. Oh, it's getting lighter. Alright, let's set up the autopilot. To point it the right direction. That fucker turned around. Why did you... Why did you turn around? You motherfucker. Oh! The fucking autopilot. He turned me around. Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh no, did you die? Malfunction? Oh my god. We're in the ocean. Are you frozen? <laughs> We're Wait, in the what? ocean. <laughs> We're malfunctioning. How do you get out of the ocean? <laughs> Hell if I know, man. Everything is dead. <laughs> oh shit. Well, we are stranded under the water. Well, oh. well fuck. Everything Coding module. Everything's destroyed. We have no way of getting out now. <laughs> we just die underneath the ocean? <laughs> that seems like a horrible way to go. I could... I couldn't even tell where the hell we are. I thought we were going up. But suddenly we went down. Just nosedived into the ocean. Man, fuck America. <laughs> <laughs> I say we deserve one more journey. All right, let's do it. I don't know about you, but as soon as we hit the ocean, I got scared. I jumped a little. Uh, malfunction. I couldn't think of what we did. How did we even get in the ocean? <laughs> it just happened so quickly. I, I got startled and shit. Like, what the hell am I looking? And those bland <laughs> dark colors, those are really scary. I don't see why it, uh, horror games are not using those. It's just frozen under the water. Yeah. Stuck in limbo. Alright. Uh, crew. You go back in there. Mm, yeah, might as well. Might as well use the shuttles. Or actually, no. Screw that. I changed my mind. Uh, Marines. Get Marine 1 out of the shuttle. Okay, then. Where would you like to go? This island let's is full see. of assholes, so let's not go there. Let's go to... Centris. All Over right. on the left. It's only gonna take a couple of jumps for that one. Yeah. Just two jumps. Uh, first jump is to Pluto. So, gotta select that. Well, okay, so... 
The hyperdrive cooked up, but I'm using the afterburners to get there a little faster. Those fucking marines are still fighting at Galcom HQ. Might as well use the hyperdrive now. Nothing can yeah. hurt us now. And here's Earth, that gay ass planet that got us killed. <laughs> Where we got stuck in the ocean. <laughs> Only in this game can you find all kinds of stupid ways to die. <laughs> we died by malfunction under the ocean. I don't even know where we ended up in. It looked like Mariana's trench or some shit. It looked pretty deep. It looked like we got the shit end of the stick. <laughs> this fucking game, man, it's just full of surprises. <laughs> Kinda sucks that Conrad couldn't join in. Guess he was getting impatient or something. Oh well, what can you do? Yeah, I think that's how a lot of people get. I sure as hell Just feel impatient when I play this game. There's a lot of waiting in this game. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You don't wait nearly as much in Civ 5. And that one is a turn-based strategy. You wait a lot. Oh, now that is much smoother. I like that buggy ass ride on Earth. <laughs> Alright, next waypoint is set to Alpha Centauri system, Centris. Alright, get the angle right. Now, there we go, back down the throat. Yep. Alright, angle is set. Let's speed up until the hyperdrive kicks in. We're gonna save some time like this. Plus, we won't have to worry about the two templons around this place. Well, until we get there, then probably inevitably have to fight some assholes over there. Let's hope we don't. That would really suck. You know it's gonna happen though. You know it is. Most likely, yeah. Hyperdrive <laughs> I wonder how this works, this hyperdrive. What would be the scientific explanation behind it? The hyperdrive? Yeah. I don't... I don't think there got is... got me there. <laughs> is there even a working hyperdrive? Or no. is it just a conspiracy waiting to happen? It's made up. Star Trek, that's the only one. <laughs> the moon landing is fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was done in Hollywood. Well, actually, that's not true. We, we did a moon landing pretty successfully. Recently, didn't you guys? Yeah. Wasn't recently? Yeah, and also here in Battlecruiser. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, here in Battlecruiser, it's fucking easy. <laughs> but it's still a moon landing. True. It's undeniable proof. They cannot deny it. Nope, all recorded. <laughs> Take that, conspiracy dipshits. Cons conspiracy fuckers. Oh. Right, let's see, that system is just as bad as we ever. Bernard Star. Fuck that place. <laughs> <laughs> Full of assholes, that's what it is. Oh god, it's, a, it's like I'm inside somebody's liver or something. 
Alright, what was the plan that we were going to? Centrus. Yeah. Shit. Fly to Centris. Well, that's pretty close. Let's see. I mean, it looks fucking huge, though. Yeah, if it's pretty big like this from here, it's gotta be pretty big from the inside, too. Gonna cook up the hyperdrive a little bit. Oh no. Uh oh, what the hell is that? Alt X that bitch right now. <laughs> I just flew past a star star monk. He's dead. He was set to return to base, but he died. Oh, well, there's only one other thing that could be an enemy, but he's not chasing after us. So, we're safe. We can just continue with our journey. Besides, how would they catch up to us? They're moving so fast without the hyperdrive. Yeah, are you seeing this? There's a floor on this space. Yeah, what the hell? It's like a triangle. It's like a pyramid. <laughs> we are inside a three-dimensional space cube. I always it's knew serious, it. It's serious, Sam. We're inside of a serious Sam pyramid. You know, if you somehow glitch out yourself from Robocraft's garage, you can fly around in the space that you can see through the windows. And it's actually a huge square, too. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the walls. It's kind of lazily <laughs> done. But then again, you're not supposed to see that, so it's... Expected laziness. Alright, we can actually just fly there with a hyperdrive now. God damn, this is a big ass planet. If it looks that big and it's that far away. We barely made any distance, actually. I know, I look how fuck it. It's gonna be huge, bro. Ridiculous. I wonder. Let us Google this up. This time around, I'm gonna Google Planet Centris. Maybe that'll get me a more reasonable result. Eccentris Cinema. <laughs> No, that's not it. Oh shit, we're about to crash, bro. Oh, that's okay. It's autopilot. Oh. Welcome to Jizz Planet. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What the hell is going on over here? Oh, they're getting blown the fuck out. We are? They are. Oh. Blown the fuck out. Another fucking battle. <laughs> They're not even looking at us. Good. Wait a minute. That's a green battle cruiser. It's a friendly. Okay, how about the. No, oh, never mind, actually. I was thinking that you're gonna use the the shuttles to go in there but I just remember that you're not doing that what a weird place to be in yes prepare for planet fall it look what were we even looking at again oh god oh not it's dark issue. here it's it's pretty dark here not the spooky planets again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I hate the spooky planets. Gotta change the time. Oh, you are. I see it. I'm doing it. Oh, God. They're losing their shit. 
Please stop using the time travel, sir. <laughs> Holy shit. A lot of them are tired. Tractor beam failure. Okay. But they're not using a tractor beam. Oh no. It, it's gonna keep repeating that until it's done. With all the instances. <laughs> Because we waited so long, or you went through so much time? Yes. Marines ready for combat deployment. What the hell? Somebody lives here. Bases. Nice. What the fuck? Somebody lives here. There's a city. Oh my god, there's a city in this planet. Marines ready for combat deployment. Shut up, Marines. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, you! Marines ready for combat deployment. Oh, I'm gonna Marines murder those fucking Marines myself if I have to Marines shut them up. Marines, Marines ready for combat, combat deployment. deployment. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> now you think that's bad? I held W down for a very long time, and that keeps uh, a message uh, weapon systems activated uh, going. <laughs> that never shut up, I had to reload a save file to keep it quiet. Oh, Marines shut up. Good. Let's check out that city. Finally they're in a rather safe space, but look at this cloud level, it's pretty low. You're only three kilometers off the ground. I'll make that five That's, now. I mean, it looks like a really cold planet, but I don't know. Guess people live here. Must be aliens or something. Where's that damn town? There are lakes and shit too. Well, I'm not going anywhere near close water. <laughs> Last time I did that, it was not fun. I thought there was a city close by, where is it? Did we miss it? No, it's here. Since we're there. We're not even on this level of the map. We have to keep going. We have to go faster. Hey, last time we ended up in the ocean, so... Are you seeing this on the map? What's That's this formation? That circle? Yeah. With like water around it? Yeah, what or the ice hell? or something? Let's check it out from up close. Um... Is this really water? It looks more like ice. Yeah, it looks like ice. It must be ice, but I'm not touching it. It might be poisonous for all we know. But this looks pretty interesting. What the hell is this? Hmm, if it's procedurally generated, well, that's quite a find. Oh, I think they're getting there. Something showed up. Alright, let's see. Get out. Oh, look at that. We're already over a city. And there's another one over there. Let's go to that this one. This is a pretty populated planet. Yeah, there's quite a few cities nearby. Let's go to that city, because I like this one better. It's right in front, after all. Oh. Hello, gentlemen. All your base are belong to us now.
<laughs> Let's destroy these alien motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't care, they killed my fucking crew. They deserve all the worst that can happen. <laughs> seem to be having trouble hitting that. Holy shit, it got loud. Yep, destroyed. <laughs> destroy these traders. Destroy their lies. Destroy the red faction. <laughs> Did you know that Sage Blinga has connections with Soapot? No. No? Huh? Well, shit. He does now? He sure does. I'm guessing you never played Red Faction 2. No. Ah, uh, well, people who played it might get the hint. But whenever I'm playing that, I guess I could invite you over too. Probably own it. You know how I buy games and forget. Yeah, you probably do. Oh, it's, everything is just a shell. Yeah, and what the alien like bastards? Those explosion <laughs> graphics. You like them or what? I, I like them. They remind me of like the old Twisted Metal games where they had like <laughs> the the default little animation of explosions. <laughs> I oh. like that shit. Yeah, take that, alien motherfuckers. <laughs> We're out of here. The city is leveled. Let's have a look around. Oh, I can see something. Seemed like a satellite or something, but nah, it doesn't matter. And a landing pad. Well, we did enough damage, I suppose. I wonder, if you fly fast enough at a building with a cruiser, will the cruiser survive, or the building survive? Let's find out. Let's break mm. this myth. Your very own Sage Blinga for Mythbusters. Warning, warning, warning. <laughs> what the? Oh. They both survived. <laughs> for God's sakes. You gotta be kidding me. Maybe I wasn't flying fast enough? Let me have a look at logistics. Um, everything looks fine. Okay, let, let's try that again. Oh, perfect. The good music kicked in. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting. Warning, warning. <laughs> <laughs> it just got stuck. How fast am I supposed to fly at a house to do this? You might be wondering, why am I doing this? This is so pointless. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm actually trying to prove that 9-11 was an inside job. If a battle cruiser can smash a house, then how did the jet the plane did it? Impossible. <laughs> that might have might not have been the best of jokes, but it was worth a shot. <laughs> you can't fault someone for trying to joke out. Oh well. How about we try to land on this? Let's see how it goes. That cinematic shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. So... Was it Shift-E to land? It is. 
Shifty is to land. We what? landed. Time to freeze your balls off once you. Wait, are you on ice? I am. <laughs> so it that is ice. That doesn't seem safe. Yeah, it's gonna be a slippery takeoff. It's gonna be like that picture I showed you. <laughs> with the guy with the shovel. <laughs> I do a quick scope. <laughs> How do I quick scope? <laughs> Well, I'm not satisfied. Every part has to end with a hilarious death. Because I said so. So let's do it. Oh shit, here we go. Who are we crashing into? This is this? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? He actually uh, bounced. Yes. He actually bounced off the ground before blowing up. Could you imagine, like, the people in that town just see this, like, failure of a fucking ship just crash right into the center of their fucking city? Oh, man. In the hyperdrive, no less. <laughs> the people there must have thought, like, you're the most, like, the... The biggest failure of a crew ever to hyperdrive <laughs> into their city. Oh man. I have a good analogy for this. Have you ever accidentally started your car and forgot to turn off the gear to neutral? Yeah, you start yes. your engine and it just starts <laughs> going on its own. Yeah, think of it as think of this as like that. We turned on the engine, but forgot to turn off the hyperdrive before doing so. <laughs> so remember kids, don't start the engine when the gear is not neutral, or you will smash into the city and explode. <laughs> so yeah, this is another great episode of Battle Cruiser Millennium Gold Deaths Edition. I gotta Failure say, cool <laughs> the more we play this fucking thing, the more I can understand Derek Smart simulation being written here. He's a fucking sadist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we like travel for like 10 fucking minutes and we get somewhere, get attacked by aliens, and then crash land into their city, so... 10 out of 10 simulator in my opinion. I don't know any other simulator that allows you to do that up till this time. Maybe you'll That's be able you to need, do really. Maybe you'll be able to do that with um, what's it called again? The space game that's being hyped up for some reason. No Man's Sky. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe you'll be able to do that in in that game. I can't wait till it nice. comes out. I'll definitely try that. What about you? Yeah, I'm probably gonna get it. Is it coming out on PC? It should be. Oh. I'm gonna need to look at it again, but it's most likely for PC. Oh yeah, it did. It says PlayStation 4 and Microsoft Windows. It looks pretty cool, but we'll see. There's a lot of games that have come out with these big promises that... Uh, Turn or into a, or a star, pile of shit. star citizen, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's probably that's gonna the one have I think. Cities. Oh yeah, take the biggest mini ship that you bought for ten thousand dollars, smash it right into the city. <laughs> <laughs> that Tenth. isn't that the one that it's they kickstart it with like five million dollars or some shit, ridiculous oh, yeah. amount. Yeah, yeah, it's the same one. It even has those stupid packages that you can buy for ten thousand dollars what why and somebody bought them already they are out of stock for those someone already bought those it must be those people what was that other uh space game people used to always play or that they still play what the uh, hell is it called you know what i'm talking about i don't actually well, there's another, there's a game that people still play that's hella old that they spent a ton of money on 
and get like blown the fuck up in. I can't remember the name. Oh well. Oh well, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll save it for next time. Yeah, next time we're going to do something that will end the life of Sage Blinga for good. And thus will allow us to move on with his alter ego, Sage Blinga, the Marine. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. See you then. <laughs>